All right, what's up guys? Uh, a lot of people have been asking me um, how I get so much foam out of my foam cannon. So the first question I always get asked is how much soap I actually use in my foam cannon. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. So here's my foam cannon. And basically all I'll do is just give it a squirt till about there. So that is it. That's all the soap I use and the rest is all water. Now, the most important thing is when you order your foam cannon, especially the cheaper ones off Amazon, which is what this is, this is about a $25 unit or something like that, they come with a larger orifice inside the quick connect con um, connection here. There's a little hole, that's what all the water and soap passes through, and you want to reduce the amount of water that's going through it so that you get more foam. Um, otherwise, your foam will come out all watery and you don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as is right now. We're going to go ahead and show you on a car um, just how much foam we're getting and how watery it is straight for, out of the packaging. And then we'll show you how to uh, adjust that and make it so that you guys get a ton of foam. All right, guys. So here it is. We've got the foam cannon all full. Water to the top is a little bit of soap um, or just uh, foam bubbles at the top. But other than that, like I said, about here to, foam, uh, to uh, soap and then the rest is water. Go ahead and fire on our connects to our pressure washer and we'll show you how much soap we get, how much foam we get. So it's an okay amount of foam, but it is really watery and you can see it's running off the panel. And that's not what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and go back inside the garage and we're gonna swap out the orifice and show you guys how to do it uh, so you get way more foam. Alrighty guys, so all we need to do is actually just take the uh, top piece of the foam cannon off. Okay, so the top of it is off. That's all I'm working with. Right here, see if it'll focus for you guys. All right, so right here, you can see there's a little piece there that you can actually remove. This is the quick connection for your gun. So just take a wrench. All right, so now we've got it loosened up. We're just gonna go ahead and take it all the way out. You wanna make sure that that O-ring right there is in good shape. You don't want any uh, splits or anything in that because that'll lose pressure. So make sure that looks good. And then on the inside of that, Again, there you go. So you can see that's the little orifice piece that we're gonna be changing out. And all you need, you see the slit going across it, all you need is a flathead screwdriver to replace that. So we'll just take a flathead screwdriver, turn it out of there. Okay. And there it is, guys. This is the little piece that we are replacing. As you can see, it is threaded, and it's just that little hole, little opening there that uh, creates all the magic for your foam cannon. So what I've done is I've ordered 1.1 millimeter orifices, or a phi, whatever you wanna call it, I guess, since there's multiple, but we only need one of them. Um, again, all this stuff is linked down in the description below so you can order it super easy for you. So we'll go ahead and pop these open. And this is the trickiest part, guys, is just threading this little piece back into the head of the foam cannon. Um, it's just a little tricky to line it up. It's not difficult, but you just want to make sure you're not cross-threading anything. Otherwise, you'll get leaks, and this thing will never come out. So just take your screwdriver. Okay. Sorry if I'm out of focus. I can't really tell right now, but just screw it in until it's nice and snug. There it is. One more little torque for good measure. All right, so now we have the new orifice inside of it. The old one's right here. This is the 1.1. We can go ahead and replace it into our foam cannon here. All right, so the orifice is inside. You wanna make sure you replace the quick connect nozzle here. And that's super easy as well, just line it up. Screw it in, get your wrench, and just give it one little torque to make sure it's nice and tightened down. It should seat really well on that little O-ring inside. 
there we go. Now we're gonna go test it out. All right, so here it is. All right, so we're all connected back up. The dial on the top here adjusts how much flow is coming through the gun. And then the nozzle adjustment adjusts the size of the fan. So just adjust it to what you like. Um, I like to crank it. So I like to crank it all the way over. Um, I guess that direction is showing to minus, um, which would mean that it's less water flow. So um, we've got the nozzle all set up and we'll go ahead and show you how much foam you get out of it now. see just how thick the foam is, how much it's sticking onto the panel. If you look at this. Nice thick foam, super easy. That's the easiest way to do it guys. You can buy the cheapest setup in the world. Just replace that little orifice um, inside and you're off to the races. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. It helped me out a ton once I made that switch just with the foam. I hated the runny foam. I felt like I was rushing everything. It wasn't doing its job. Switch out that orifice and it made all the difference in the world. Once again, everything is linked down in the description below. The soap that I use, the little orifice, the foam cannon in particular. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Please give me a thumbs up on this video if it helped you out. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again.